Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Now, this is a special 40 Facts video. It's a lot shorter, like the one that we had in the previous week, and that is because, again, we did not have time to fulfill a full 40 Facts video, but we're making it up by giving you an awesome giveaway. We are going to be talking about the Karnak campaigns and afterwards more information on the giveaway, so stay tuned to the very end. So let's get into 40 facts about the Karnak campaigns. The Necron Overlord, Enrakir the Traveler, arrived on the planet he believed to be the tomb world of Karnak, only to find it infested with Eldar Exodites. Realizing that the tomb will be buried too deep for him to awake it before the Exodites can themselves summon aid, the Overlord calls on Necron Lords and Overlords of other tomb worlds for aid. Reinforcement swiftly arrives from Mandragora, Gidrim, and Tracone, though the most unexpected of all is the group from Solomons, led by Trazin the Infinite himself. All this takes time. And by the time the Nightside's fleet deploys the invading forces, the armies of the craft world stand side by side with Karnak's Exodites. Guided by the prophecies of Farseer Eldrith Starbane and the strategies of Illic Nightspear, the Eldar attempt to stall the Necron invasion with a series of hit and run attacks. Their aim is to sever the command structure by destroying the Overlord and his closest allies. The Lord manages to undermine the prophecies of the Farseer through the astromantic analysis of Orican the Diviner. Though Orican's divinations are by no means as focused as those of Eldrith Starbane, they are sufficient enough to tangle the thread of fate and leave many details of the campaign beyond the Farseer's reach. Orican is one of the most powerful of the Necron Cryptex and is a potent chronomancer, able to calculate the events of the future from the patterns of the stars. After several inconclusive battles on Karnak, the Overlord forces the Eldar to engage in head-to-head -head confrontations by marching on the Exodite's world spirit shrine. As the tireless Necron legions advance upon the walls, Doomsights duel with elegant Eldar fighters in the skies above. Deathmarks ply a deadly trade of ambush and counter ambush with pathfinders, and all the while flayed ones prowl the flanks, pouncing on any Eldar foolish enough to show even a momentary sign of weakness. The two sides are well matched, with Necron hardiness countered by the Eldar tactical precisions. Victory finally falls to the Necrons when Karnak's tomb unexpectedly begins to awaken, stirred from its dormancy by the turbulence above. With Necron reinforcements now starting to trickle into the campaign, the Eldars have little choice but to abandon Karnak and its world spirit to their ancient enemies. Enrikai is extremely satisfied with the campaign's aftermath and gladly agrees with Trazian request of the entire World Spirit Shrine as spoils of war. For his part, Orican requests no trophy or payment, and merely hopes that when the flush of victory fades, no one thinks to question the convenient coincidence of the Karnak Tomb World's awakening. Thank you guys so much for listening to that awesome Necron lore. Now this video is a lot shorter and of course as you can tell it's a little different because we did not have enough time to actually upload a full 40 facts video. We are doing a giveaway for you guys. Today we are giving away... BAM! The Canoptic Spiders of the Necrons. Yeah, now this was in a previous giveaway and the winner actually never responded so we're giving it away once again. So if you would like to win this Necron uh, piece of goodness, please go down below in the comment section and comment why you want this Necron piece of awesomeness. Really you can comment whatever, but it's very important that you comment and that you like. Um, and of course be a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber and I will check on the profile of the winner. So please like, comment, and subscribe. It's not hard, guys. Anybody can do it. And you, you, you've been doing it all, all your life because right. that's what we've been asking you guys to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. So please comment down below, and then the winner gets that. And we'll catch you in the next one.